Okay, so now we've got our engine mount columns uh, built on. Like I said, we left those loose for now until we've got the block on here and can lock it into place. I did want to mention this is a fully accessorized kit that PRW sent us. It does come with a block adapter so that you can actually build the engine right here on the stand. Um, if you don't, if you get the, the standard stand, this does come as an accessory option. You can buy it separately. It comes with the bracket that it mounts to and then the adapter itself. It is fully swiveling. That's what the handle's for. So you can, once you've got the block on here, you can move it into position. There are several locking positions. Once you've got it where you want it, you can lock it back down on the back so it's in place. But a great addition for the stand to be able to actually build the engine off this, then take it off, mount it to the engine test to the frame itself, and start testing the engine. So that's, I did want to point that out. This is the fully accessory stand. Uh, we'll have the part numbers listed below for this stand and the other stand and the uh, part number for the actual adapter if you want that as an option. Be right back. Okay, the engine mounts actually come in two pieces. There's a lower part that actually locks to the crossbar. Then you've got this upper bar that slides on top of it. It gives you the ability to adjust the height of the engine that you want it. There's going to be uh, locked in both positions on the top and bottom so you can lock it on onto the lower part. And then you do have your engine mounts that actually go to the engine to put on your block once you've got it set up and you can lock it into place. Okay, so now we've got our engine mount locked away. Next thing we're going to do is build our gauge dash and switch dash. We're going to put all the switches and gauges in, then we're going to mount it on the frame. Real easy installation. We'll show you how it goes, and then we'll get it locked onto the stand. We'll move on to the next thing. Be right back. All right, so now we've got all of our gauges and switches into the dash. You'll see that we have our standard on switch. We've got the fan switch and our starter button. We've got a water temp, oil pressure, and our tachometer in it. Next step is to get this locked in and put on the stand. I will point out that the gauges actually come with a couple of op options for your uh, bezels. You can do black bezels. You do have a silver on the tachometer, so you may want to put the silvers on, but they do give you an option here. We'll put those on real quick, and it'll be good to go. Now we'll put this on the stand and move on to the next step. Be right back. 